Hi there, my name is Jordan from Cross Country Ski Ontario and today we're going to be talking about what to wear when you're cross country skiing. It's really important to remember that while yes it is cold outside in the winter, you're exercising so that means you're going to be sweating so it's important to know what to wear in order for you to stay dry and warm while you're out there having fun in the snow. The number one rule to remember when thinking about what to wear when you're skiing is layering. Layering your clothing is really helpful in order for you to achieve those things like staying warm and dry. And the way to do that is to make sure that you're wearing at least three layers. A base layer, a mid layer, and a shell layer. So here we have a base layer. A base layer is the first layer that's going to be closest to your skin and you want it to be made of a material like polyester, nylon, wool, or spandex and those materials will help to wick the moisture and keep it away from your skin, which will keep you warm while you're out in the cold. The most important rule to remember with your base layer is to avoid cotton. Cotton will absorb moisture, keeping it close to your skin, leaving you wet and cold. So the next layer that we're going to talk about is the mid layer, which goes in between your base layer and your shell layer. Now your mid layer acts as your insulation when you're out on the trails. So it can be something like a hoodie or a, a light jacket, even something like I'm wearing right now. Something that will keep you warm and will go over top of the base layer. Your outermost layer when you're going out skiing is your shell layer. The shell is important to keep you dry and warm and protected from the elements like the wind, snow, rain, whatever kind of weather you might experience while you're out on the trails. A shell layer, like this one that I have right here, is important to be made of a material that is water resistant that's going to help protect you from the rain and the snow. Because we're layering, you always have the option to remove the shell layer in case you overheat. The last piece of your layering system are your socks, your headwear, and your mitts or your gloves. Your extremities, like your fingers, your toes, or your ears, are the quickest things that are going to get cold while you're out on the trails, so it's important to keep them covered. For socks, you want to pick a material similar to your base layer, so either a, a wool or a synthetic material that's going to keep the moisture away from your skin. When you're looking at headwear, you've got a few different options. Um, if it's a cool day or if you if you're, tend to be a, a chilly person, you've got the toque option. You can also go with a headband. You can also use a buff, which is very similar to a neck warmer or a balaclava that will help to keep your neck warm. And for your mitts or gloves, you can go with the glove option or if it is really cold, mitts are a little bit warmer. They keep your fingers closer together and just help to keep the heat inside the mitt and keep you that much warmer. So now that we have all of our layers on and we're ready to head out for a ski, there's a couple more accessories that you can add to what you're wearing. The first one is eyewear or sunglasses. They can be really helpful on a really sunny day or if it's raining or snowing, they'll protect your eyes from the elements. And the other one is a drink belt, which is really nice if you can have one with a compartment for fluids to keep you hydrated and another with a little pouch where you can put snacks for while you're out or even grip wax if you're classic skiing. If you're new to skiing and you're finding that there's a lot of stuff that we've talked about today that you feel like you might not have, it's worth having a look in your closet because you may be surprised at just how much is in there that you could use for what we've talked about today. And if you're looking for more information, there's lots of information on the Cross Country Ski Ontario website. There you'll find lots of resources and ways to get connected with your local club, which will be full of experts who can help you out as well. Finally, I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in and listening to this video. I hope it's been really helpful for you. Have fun and stay warm out there.